Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Vertical VX4 completes tethered flight. Alpine Air Express signs LOI for up to 75 Ara Aero ERA aircraft. And TrueCore showcases new mixed reality simulator at AirVenture. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Vertical VX4 completes tethered flight. After publishing their refreshed permit to fly from the UK's CAA, Vertical Aerospace began its test flight campaign with a tethered launch of their eVTOL prototype. The VX-4 pulled it off perfectly, taking off and hovering for a short time as personnel parsed, checked, and assessed more than, quote, 20,000 flight and system parameters, end quote. The prototype pulled it off without a hitch, providing Vertical the data it needs to move on to the next phase of testing. The UK CAA already gave approval to expand its flight envelope. Those flights will consist of vertical takeoffs and low-speed maneuvers under its own power, checking the VX-4's handling and controllability under its brute force vertical propulsion in the thrust-borne phase, and more relaxed fixed-wing flight in the wing-borne phase. After plenty of flight in an array of conditions, Vertical will assess the VX-4's ability to pull off the hardest maneuver of all for a convertible VTOL aircraft, transitioning from vertical takeoff to horizontal cruise and back again. If all goes well there, then Vertical can actually put a living pilot in the cockpit. The CAA will have to grant approval for those, but Vertical seems to think they're doing just fine in keeping to their timetable. After the break, CV-22 Accident Investigation Report released. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. CV-22 Accident Investigation Report Released AFSOC officials released the results of the investigation of the CV-22B Osprey mishap on November 29, 2023 near Yakushima, Japan. The aircraft was assigned to the 21st Special Operations Squadron, 353rd Special Operations Wing at Yokota Air Base in Japan. By a preponderance of the evidence, the mishap was caused by a catastrophic failure of the left-hand prop rotor gearbox that created a rapidly cascading failure of the aircraft's drive system, resulting in an instantaneous asymmetric lift condition that was unrecoverable by the mishap crew. Sierra Space Ready's Dream Chaser for Final Preparations Sierra Space has begun its final test phase for the Dream Chaser space plane at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Good news for fans of the ongoing commercial space race. Sierra Space is hoping that its Dream Chaser and corresponding Shooting Star cargo module will offer a competitive, affordable option to those looking to deliver payloads into orbit and beyond. With production complete, Sierra Space will now move on to final testing and launch prep for its inaugural mission to resupply the ISS. Next-Gen Air Dominance Fighter paused. 
USAF's Kendall said that the project to develop a suitable replacement for the F-15 and F-22 fighter systems has been paused due to concerns about the high cost of the next-generation air dominance fighter. At the rate things are going, the next air superiority fighter was expected to have a final production price tag measured in the hundreds of millions of dollars. A pretty steep price tag when the Air Force can apparently do the mission just fine with F-15 EXs that cost a fraction in comparison. Seed grants kickstart research at Embry-Riddle. A raft of Embry-Riddle research projects have been funded by seed grants from the Boeing Center for Aviation and Aerospace Safety. The school highlighted one project, quote, using AI to help model and predict in-flight loss of control incidents, end quote. Additional projects include open source validation and verification framework for AI-controlled aerial vehicles, 3D printing of continuous carbon fiber composites with programmable thermal behaviors, a proactive safety design for advanced thermal management, robust automatic speech recognition for aviation applications, and fabrication of copper lithium ion battery case with integrated cooling channels using binder jetting additive manufacturing. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Alpine Air Express signs LOI for up to 75 Ara Aero ERA aircraft. Alpine Air Express has signed a letter of intent to purchase up to 75 hybrid electric ERA aircraft from French manufacturer Ara Aero. Alpine Air Express operates over 100 regional flights across the country, providing last mile delivery of packages and freight for large package companies. The company currently operates a fleet of more than 80 aircraft and plans to deploy the Electric Regional Aircraft, or ERA, to advance its decarbonization efforts while simultaneously operating more efficient aircraft. The versatile ERA has a full opening cargo door and its volume to payload combination promises to reduce energy and maintenance costs by up to 50% per ton of cargo, compared to older aircraft in its category. Michael Dancy, Alpine Air Express CEO, said, quote, some aircraft serving the regional cargo markets are expensive to maintain. Alpine is excited to utilize this next-generation technology to provide long-term cost controls for its customers." End quote. Drew McEwen, chief commercial officer of ARA Aero, noted, quote, "...competitive advantages of ERA as a cargo aircraft with respect to traditional turboprops include lower operating costs, optimized payload capacity for typical short-haul freight, and increased safety through state-of-the-art avionics and flight controls." End quote. After these messages, TrueCore showcases new mixed reality sim at AirVenture. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. True Core showcases new mixed reality sim at Air Adventure. True Core Simulation showcased a new prototype for a mixed reality simulator at Oshkosh. They are expected to become available to the public in early 2025. True Course is a virtual reality simulator manufacturer. Though it launched only five years ago, it has released several versions currently being used in the U.S. Air Force Academy, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and several other leading flight training centers. 
The software includes written and video lessons along with guided flights, effectively reducing student pilots' time to solo by up to 30%. Their newest and most advanced model features groundbreaking mixed reality technology. It uses X-Plane 12 and a MetaQuest 3 headset with camera pass-throughs, allowing users to see their hands, the flight panel, and the controls mounted in front of them. To create a genuinely realistic flight experience, the base has four motion actuators with one and a half inches of travel. Kyle Buffelli, the TC Sims general manager, comments that this is a, quote, easier environment for students to learn in before they go to a real plane, because a real plane can be kind of overwhelming for students to try to learn brand new things, end quote. These elements, along with the virtual instructors for flight guidance and grading, make it perfectly suited for both VFR and IFR flight training. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.